Hi, this is Mary, the beekeeper for Neshika. Uh, we, this is not the bee yard. This is where we store our extra equipment. It's around the other side of the property. We have this, I said new hive, or you could call it a swarm trap. It's, we use it for all kinds of things, but it's a small hive, it's an eight frame hive. Um, it's quite portable and it was empty. I actually thought it had frames in it, but it did not. And I noticed some activity. I just wanted to, last thing I did today after some hive inspections, I wanted to see what was going on in here. And I thought, well, you know, let's see if I can help them out any. These girls don't need any help at all. And here's why. This is so cool. Look at what they've done. All by themselves. I want to get a good grip so I don't drop anything. So it's the next day. Last night I I closed that hive and I took it to the bee yard so I could do this exercise out of public eye, so to speak. I completed the exercise and brought them back. The bees that you see against the back wall were foragers that left the temporary home in the bee yard, went out this morning and came back here before I brought this box back, which was just moments ago. As you see, they're finding their way inside. Uh, what we discovered yesterday were natural combs being built inside because there were no frames at all. And they were, of course, going uh, left to right as opposed to front to back inside the hive. So I removed the combs and I strapped them to frames as well as giving them a couple frames of drawn comb and a little bit of resource in there. And uh, got the queen. They, they, they were protecting her really well. and. Uh, all pretty calm about it. No smoke. I really, I'm overdressed for the occasion. It was very calm. So this won't be the last move for this little hive. We have a lovely friend who has a beautiful, beautiful garden quite far from here. So one of the reasons we did this is we wanted to prepare them for that move. They wouldn't have made it otherwise. And we're going to help her maintain these bees until she's comfortable doing it herself. And as you see, the girls are on the front entrance, uh, fanning the pheromone, letting everybody know. I, I don't know, I, I can only imagine what they might have thought. Is this all a bad dream? We woke up this morning, and we were someplace else, but now we're back. Everything's fine, and that's what the pheromone is about. Everything's fine, this is home. Welcome home. That's the welcome home pheromone.